the channel it's the first day with the s1000 double r m package premium package carbon fiber wheels man my dream bike this thing looks insane i can't even register yet that it's mine but i'm so sorry i started it i took like uh you know a uh, shorts video for you guys so you'll see it on the shorts but i cold started it on the shorts we're about to go on the first ride i put my rock form uh, case thing here so we have gps um, one of my friends wants to take rollers of this bike. He has a DJI, so we're gonna go meet up with him. Um, take rollers, first ride with the S1K guys. Sit back, relax, enjoy the video. And I went back to my old view, the super view. I did not like that wide angle last video, so hope you guys enjoy this more. What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. First ride on the S1K. So excited. It's probably gonna be a chill ride, as you guys know. First ride always, I like to take it a little bit more chill, more laid back. Get used to the bike, get used to how it corners, how it feels. This bike is throwing me off from how light it is. I think it's because of the carbon wheels, like it's very light. It, it's kind of odd. When I put it today on the kickstand, I gave it a fat wash this morning and then like, yeah, it feels slip, like very, very snappy. It's kind of weird, but I think it's because of the carbon wheels, but maybe the S1K in general is um, light. I don't know. It feels extremely light. These carbon wheels are scary. Gotta watch out for potholes and stuff, but other than that, hopefully we'll be okay. The bike feels like so light though. It's kind of throwing me off. It does feel lighter than my ZX4, which is crazy to say. I don't know if that's true or not. I need to look it up. If you've been here since the days where I couldn't even figure out how to fix my mic, I, I, you know, had the GoPro pointed at the gas tank and you guys stuck around, it genuinely means the world. I love you, you know who you are. Man, this is like a dream come true. Everything looks crazy on this bike, everything, I love this. I think this is the only aftermarket thing that dude put and the tail man the bike is so light i don't know if it's the electronic lean thing whatever i need to look into a lot of what this bike has man i've never had a bike with this much tech and the screen is gigantic which is so nice in my opinion but yeah guys first ride sit back relax enjoy the video I'm gonna go meet up with a couple of friends like i said do um some rollers and we'll see how that goes man the tire pressure feels a little bit too much in the bike, but dealer told me this bike, if your tire PSI is low, it'll literally freak out, tell you to pull over, unsafe to drive, everything. So maybe he over pumped them a little, but they do feel like rocks, I'm not going to lie. Or that's just the feel of the carbon wheel, I have no clue. Or it's just the bike, man, I'm getting used to everything as, as we go, as we talk, but yeah, I love y'all. Man, his face was like whoo i don't think i've ever got a face like that dude he did the you know that the the i'm smoking a cigarette without smoking a cigarette inhaling face like man this bike looks insane guys it's it's up there guys one of the best looking bikes i think in the world really like it's up there up there man you got to see one of these in person and then the carbon on the wheels is crazy but yeah, it's so quiet. I can't wait to put an exhaust. Let me know what exhaust I should get on it. I would love to hear your comments. It's so light around the corners. It's it's very light around the corners. Got to pay attention till I get used to it. I'm not gonna lie. So this bike only has that this aftermarket brake fluid thing, and then it has the tail delete nrc tail delete which looks sick so i like both i'll probably be keeping both both mods on the bike but next mod guys i want to invest in exhaust so bad you guys know the exhaust just changes the bike night and day i'm looking towards leaning towards a full um aero exhaust system uh i think it's one of my favorites it looks insane on this bike so like a titanium aero exhaust would look crazy on this bike. The 
quick shifter is mint. It's first impression. Oh my god! The tone is different than the ZX10. It needs an exhaust, guys. I want to hear this bike in person, man. I used to beg people to rev this bike who had it, and now we finally own one and we can mod it, ride it, rev it however the hell we want. So I'm so excited. I feel so light. The wheels are weird, the carbon wheels. Carbon wheels feel very light. It almost feels like you're about to fly just from a little bounce. And the tires just need to get used to everything. Crazy guys. Crazy bike. Just letting it is letting it settle in. Usually I would be impatient riding right now, but I really just wanna take it easy, chill man. Let everything set in. bike is just different it's just different guys this and the h2 they're just different oh my god it feels crazy so crazy riding this bike wait this is a hellcat tan interior lady driven hellcat she's smiling that's nice <laughs> She's smiling, she's like, I think it's probably her boyfriend's her boyfriend's uh, car or something. She didn't look like she wants to whip it. different power band I don't know how to explain it it's like so smooth that it's kind of weird it's very very smooth let's see oh my god I took out the ZX10 in yesterday's video as you saw and that thing feels amazing now with the new tune. Man, it was so delayed. It literally feels like this bike stock now, which, man, come on Kawasaki. We got to make those bikes mint from factory because without a tune, ZX10 was dead. ZX4 was dead. R1 was insane. I'm not going to lie. Even with, the, it's still insane, you know, after the tune, before tune. It feels the same, honestly, almost, but the Cowies, they need a tune, man. But this Beamer, I don't think, I don't know if I need to tune it. I've heard that it, it's self-tuning. So when you, like, get a full exhaust system on it, it just self-tune itself to it, and it won't give you an engine light. I have no idea if that's true or not, but... Um, definitely, I'm getting a full exhaust on this bike. If I didn't get it on the 10, you know I'm getting it on the S1000. This is my dream bike, guys. You guys know it's a lot of yours as well. And I know I know how insane this bike sounds when you get a full exhaust. And I'm sure all of you as well. And yeah, just comment below. Let me know what exhaust is the best sounding one on this bike. And yeah, the seat is uncomfortable. I think I should change the seat on this bike. I swear, I think one time I ever sat on my friend's bike, same year as this and the seat felt so uncomfortable so definitely I, I think I would change the seat out one of the like it's extremely uncomfortable I thought I was losing my mind that day but it is true guys this seat is very very uncomfortable right now I can't lie I don't know if these tires are cooked they feel a little slippery because the bike been sitting for years or what but yeah Oh my god. Dude, thinking about the price of this bike, sometimes 
it's actually crazy like no flex or anything but it's just like how do people even it's not even about affording but how do you even come one day and say man i'm gonna spend thirty thousand dollars on a ninja h2 or a fire blade or like 100k whatever on a super Ligera. how do you how do you spend that money man that is so crazy like i, I feel so it just feels overwhelming riding a bike with this price range so going up to the 30 man it's insane i really it's it's so insane how are these bikes so expensive it's crazy i just missed my exit so let's focus here before we miss another one okay we can just make a u-turn here whatever should be good to go I got tired of it all with a lie. Yeah, this feels very stable. Very stable. I love it. It's so stable, guys. No wobbles, no nothing. Feels very nice, very stable. Look at that airplane landing. So beautiful. Do you see that? With the sunset, guys, come on. With the S1000, it literally feels like a dream come true. I love you guys so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. So beautiful. So smooth. I know, I know. A lot of you told me these things will blow up, but gotta rev it a little bit off the limiter but i won't hang on it too much so gotta get that exhaust in asap let me know comment below we're about to meet up with the boys and i'll get back with you guys i'll turn the back camera back on love you all and yeah thank you for all your support i hope you're happy with this bike and you're happy with the channel and you're happy with my decision baby let's go Yo, wait, wait, let's stop it for where are we going straight? Yeah, wait, stop for the ducks, everybody. Look at the ducks over there. <laughs> yeah, everybody, stop for the ducks. Thank you, baby. Let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Chaos. The ducks. Me, don't worry about me. You guys, you know, ride. Drive your drive. Don't pretend I'm not here. Like, you can overtake me anytime you want. I'm always looking out for you. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't have to, like, yeah, swerve too much. Like, don't worry. I got it. I'm the best rider you'll ever, like, ride with with a car. Trust. <laughs> We got my boy here, guys, taking rollers with his beautiful bagged FRS on wheels. Bunch of mods. Look at this thing. It's clean. Okay, we're going to take a right. Let me get in here. Thank you. Hold up. I'm not, I can't lean like a MotoGP. What's up, baby? You should be filming this G with your phone. Multitask, bro. Huh? Multitask. <laughs> <laughs> Film me, please. <laughs> okay, you're good, G. Enjoy. Oh, my God. I'll be back. One second. <laughs> Woo! Woo! 
Beautiful, dude. Rev it. my god that is a beautiful car man look at it hear it G turn your window down car pulling back up and we got a beautiful supra engine b58 engine x3 m40i to my left man these things are insane when you tune them and that thing just looks insane it's static and we got a beautiful supra up in front 